Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing you another devotion. Catherine and I got away for a few days and went up to Gatlinburg, and it's been a beautiful time. We're on our way home, but I, let me tell you something what happened on Sunday afternoon as we were coming in. We were driving by, and we passed by this place where they carve out these bear figures. You know how they take a piece of wood, the log, and all this? But it was closed. They had a strap across the uh, driveway where you can go in. But what got me was I looked, and there was a real live bear a real live bear walking across on all fours he still was about three foot high it was kind of scary to just look at him see that's what's so interesting about a bears you know we got these little teddy bears we got these little carvings and they look so cute but you know what those are some mean animals they can do some damage on you it kind of got me about that place so i actually went back later on when it was open and asked the man i said do you actually have some bears hanging around the place he said yeah they come out of the mountains there and uh there's one now with two cubs that we have to be very careful about it just sneaks up on us see that's the way sin is in our life sin can look so cute sin can look so oh there's nothing wrong with it it's no problem but it's dangerous we have to remember, what is it, Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death. So we don't want to play around with a real live bear. We don't want to play around with something that's so dangerous as sin. So remember that. Sin may look cute, but it can get you. So be very careful. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, let us learn. Let us learn to, to fight sin every time it comes to life. Even it might sneak in, even though it might be looking so cute and, and Lord, maybe even beautiful. But Lord, let us be about you today, realizing we need to live a life that glorifies you. Look, we come confessing our sin. We come trusting in you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, have a glorious day in the Lord.